Hey everyone, grateful to have you guys tuning in for today's message because today I want to give you guys a message that I feel is the most important message that we could ever hope to hold within our hearts and on all levels. So not just um, personally for our own relationship with self, um, but also in relationship with all the people that we care about in our lives. And personally, I'm going to unpack this one with you guys. Um, but personally, I don't think that there's anything more important than what I'm going to talk to you guys about in terms of uh, living the life that you were born to live, really making sure that you create a life filled with meaning and purpose and fulfillment and all of the great stuff. And to be honest, I, f I feel like if we don't get what I'm going to talk to you guys about today, I don't know whose life we're living. And I, as you guys have heard me express many, many times, um, I really live by not wanting to go down the path of the number one regret of the dying, which is an inauthentic existence um, and getting beyond that. And so what I want to talk to you guys about today in terms of authenticity, um, I think is really, really key. And I would love, as always, for you guys to tune in and drop some comments and join in the conversation. Let's co-create this space. And I'd love to hear your perspective um, on everything that we're going to dive into today. Uh, but basically, today, I want to leave you with this real sense of knowingness in your soul that nothing, absolutely nothing can ever be wrong so long as you are being authentic. And I really want to stress this one at my highest capacity because um, in my life, when I have lived outside of integrity with myself, you know, being authentic, knowing who it is that I am, knowing what it is that I feel is the right thing and directing the course of my life from that place, when I've lived outside of that, um, everything has gone wrong in my life. And every time I've realigned with a new level of clarity within myself and alignment and full integrity with myself in terms of what I'm choosing to do, who I'm choosing to do that with, um, what I'm looking to create, all the actions and decisions that I make, whenever I align it from full integrity with myself, everything has been right, despite my fears, insecurities, challenges from the external world. And I think that this key of nothing can ever be wrong so long as you're authentic is something that we need to consistently remind ourselves of, you know, for our own relationship with self, to remind ourselves nothing can ever be wrong so long as you're being authentic. It actually allows us to cut through, you know, all the judgments, opinions, expectations in our external world and fully align with what I like to term our authentic inspiration. Uh, and that's the place that I feel we reach our highest potential. If we're living to somebody else's standards, if we're living inauthentically or in congruence, um, in, in, sorry, out of congruence with our own uh, truth and what's right for us, we're not living our own life. We're taking ourselves off our pathway towards our potential. And that only means us sacrificing what we could be experiencing and creating um, in this lifetime for what? for the approval, acceptance, and whatever from external sources. But whenever we're out of alignment with our truth, doesn't matter how much acceptance, approval, love that you get from external sources, it's never going to be good enough because it's never the it's never actually you being loved, the truth of who you are being accepted and approved of. It's some molded format of that, um, that all that all that does when you get acceptance, approval, love, acknowledgement uh, for operating in a way that's not who you are is reinforcement to the self that you're not good enough as you are and you can only be loved, accepted or approved of um, if you formulate a way of being in the world that is um, for, molded for external sources and at the expense of your internal truth, right? 
Now, I want to bring this concept outside of just within ourselves. That's the most important place to have this concept and this um, standard that you hold yourself to. That, you know, nothing can ever be wrong so long as you're authentic. Once we really get that within ourselves and we are operating from that particular place, um, basically I see us transitioning this uh, standard into all relationship dynamics that we have. And I don't, I feel like this is freedom. This is the freedom that we firstly can give ourselves, right? That freedom to just be all of who you are, right? And to know that no matter what you do that's true to who you are, nothing can ever be wrong. And to be able to give, give that um, permission and standard and um, love to other people who are in relationship with you, I don't believe there's any greater gift. To say to somebody, hey, you know what? There is nothing that you could ever say or do that is wrong so long as you are being true to yourself. And when I say being true to yourself or being authentic, I'm not um, saying that you just have full permission and no responsibility for how you behave and operate in this world, right? And you can just go out there and you feel angry, so you get abusive, right? I'm not saying that. That's coming from fear, right? That's coming from a defensive place. That's not coming from the truth of who you are. What I mean about, you know, coming from the truth of who you are is in full alignment with what you know to be healthiest for you as an individual and you know contributing to other people that you love and care about you know anything that's really true and healthy for you is not going to come at the expense of other people all right it's going to be the best thing possible for them as well and a lot of people get caught up thinking that no, like if I set that boundary and I do that thing that's healthiest for me, like they're going to be disappointed because they want me to show up in this different way. Well, let people be disappointed because if anything is operating from not being true to who you are, you are creating a dynamic with other people that's only going to set yourselves up for disconnection, resentment, because you're not being able to be true to who you are. And anybody that loves and cares about you absolutely wants whatever's healthiest for you. And when you're the healthiest version of you, you can actually get beyond just yourself and you can love and care about other people uh, for the truth of who they are and give them that freedom. That's why in my own life, I've over the years had to become more and more and more selective about who comes into my inner circle of friends and connections. And the number one thing I look for is I look at their relationship with themselves. How free are they to be all of who they are with themselves? How much do they um, grow themselves and nurture themselves and take care of themselves and love themselves and have compassion and kindness to towards themselves because I can look at their relationship with themselves and I can see that's the kind of freedom that they will give to me. And when people are trapped in a lot of judgment for themselves, um, a lot of resentment um, towards other people and all those sorts of things, um, that to me is a little bit of a red flag, right? Because it can be like, okay, like however that person is operating, and I can see how they're operating with themselves. They're giving their power away. Um, they're not feeling good within themselves. Um, whatever it is, I can go, oh, that's, that's the level of freedom I'm going to have with them in relationship, at least what they're going to offer to me. And then it's obviously up to me as to the level of freedom that I choose to give myself. It's not determined by anybody externally from us. But basically, you get to choose from that place as to, you know, what kind of dynamic and what kind of relationship you want to have with others. And basically, I look at it this way. We accept relationships in our external world that match and mirror our own relationship with ourselves. So if we um, judge ourselves, don't believe in ourselves, um, you know, are critical towards the self, we're more willing to accept that treatment from external sources, right? We're, we're willing to accept people judging us or not believing in us and we will be in relationship with them. But when you have a relationship with yourself that you are, you know, self-loving, self-respecting, self-honoring, and somebody externally to you is disrespectful to you, unloving to you, um, and dishonoring to you, 
you're just not going to be attracted to that, right? Like that is going to repel you. And hopefully you get to a stage in your life where um, you can have compassion for others and you can love them from afar, but you also have good standards and boundaries about who you will bring into your existence. And the reason why I bring this up is because it's my experience and my own personal belief. So take this on and try it on for yourself. But when you have this strong um, standard within yourself and knowing within yourself that nothing can ever be wrong so long as you are being authentic, and then you offer that same um, offering and standard and, and sense of freedom to the people that you're in relationship with and go, nothing that you, um, nothing can ever be wrong so long as you're being authentic and, you know, taking care of you, then you guys are going to create an incredible quality of relationship and anything less than that. It, um, any relationship, no matter on what scale, you don't feel like you can be all of who you are with, right? Like you got to go and look at your own relationship with self and do the work on, on creating that sense of freedom and connecting to who it is that you actually are and aligning with courage with, you know, your internal world with your external world, you know, fully being true to who you are. Um, and then that's going to up level the standard of relationship that you have in your external world. They're either going to come up to that level with you or they're going to go their separate ways, right? And so all I'm saying in this conversation is do not be afraid of that and to make your standard of relationship one in which nothing can ever be wrong so long as you are being authentic, all right? And offer that freedom to other people without attachment. And that is the way that we can actually have depth of connection that is between people who are being fully true and transparent with who they actually are, as opposed to people molding who they think they need to be in order to get something like a, a sense of acceptance or approval or love or acknowledgement or whatever it is. So, Hope this one just serves as a reminder for you guys as to the importance of being authentic and showing up in this world as the as your true self and everything that you have to share and offer and extending that freedom to everybody that you care about and um and also you know looking at our own relationship with self when we are evaluating the kind of relationships that we've got going on in our lives. And instead of um, trying to change or judge other people, look at how what we're accepting in dynamics that we don't like, how that's reflective of our own relationship with self and what work we could be doing to be more self-loving, accepting, honoring, respecting, all of that stuff um, within ourselves so that we can up level the quality of our relationships from the inside out. All right. Most people try and do that from the outside in and it doesn't really get us very far. So I hope this message has been of value to you guys um, and just hits you where you might need it just to give you that reassurance that if you are currently in a position where you're needing to maybe make a decision or you're questioning um, the next pathway forward for you in any realm, then, you know, just remind yourself, you know what, nothing I do could ever be wrong so long as I am being authentic. And if you're not really clear on who it is that you are, then that is the work that you need to focus on right now. Because with a real strong sense of certainty in terms of who it is that you are, what it is that you authentically want, and having the boldness and the courage to actively pursue that and create that in your life is ultimately the name of the game. And the best, um, the best time that you could spend and directed towards yourself and your future. All right, so I hope that that's a value and I can see a bunch of you on, but I can't see your names for some reason. I can only see Judy and I see a comment here from Mayan. Um, but Mayan, freedom of speech and attachment um, with way of evaluating of relationship are your beauty of art. Ah, oh, thank you so much. And uh, yes, absolutely, Mayan. Um, that's beautifully, beautifully put. Um, so hope that this has been of value to you guys. Thank you so much for showing up and tuning in. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, you can definitely um, leave those. I'll get back to you guys a little bit later. Um, but that is my message for you. And as always, I just want to remind you to go out there and live authentically, right? That's really what today's message is all about. That is where your freedom lays, right? Free 
freedom really is your ability to just be fully all of who you are. But it's very hard to be all of who you are when you don't know who you are, right? So you might need to be doing some uh, deep dive study on exploration on who it is that you are on that on those deepest levels. And I know all too well the journey that I was on being so connected to um, what everybody else was, you know, projecting towards me that my I didn't have a clear sense of my identity and that I didn't really start a deep dive on that journey of discovery until I was about 24 or 25, right? And ever since then, it's just been an unraveling of the onion. And obviously today I'm much the most clear I've ever been in, in terms of who it is that I am, what it is that I want and having the courage to go after it. But that's the journey that we're all on. And uh, wherever you are on that timeline, um, I, I wish you well. And if you ever need support, you know, you can always reach out to me. And uh, Dill, hello to you, my friend. I'm doing really well. Hope you are as well. So that's my message. Um, so to go out there, live authentically, to love deeply, and to contribute meaningfully. That's really what matters, at least from my perspective. I hope it resonates with you as well. And uh, thank you so much for showing up today. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Much love.